Hey, Scott. You beat me out of medical again. How long? Not long. Weeks. Enough to... get started. Started on what? The Hyperion? Meridian? One and the same. Capital ship, capital city. The home for humanity. We did it, Dad. Are you okay? You and Sam? Our connection has been restored. I am once again able to help the Pathfinder activate Remnant technology. But does he still need to? I adapted to use Remnant without him, but it's not advisable. Dr. Carlyle estimates an 80% risk of further hemorrhaging. Further being the alarming part. For you and me both, Scott. Pathfinder, the Nexus leaders are waiting for us. Go on. I bet it's real important. It always is. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Hager keeps the position, and the timeline, in the Nexus family. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshe would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. This representative should be one of the people actually doing the work. First outpost, first ambassador. Bradley's my choice. Safe enough. Nothing disruptive for Meridian's opening day. Something by the book, for once. Scott is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, what they said.
Ryder. Enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. I can't do this without a good pilot. Or a great pilot. How about a pilot determined to help his friends? I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't... Please don't tell him that. Things will change now. But that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Is your day good? I swear. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. New beginnings. That's what I came to Helios for. And what I dreamed of. Yes. <laughs> New beginnings. So, let's get to it. Hey, Ryder. How's God? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour. You were pretty heroic yourself. I have my moments. Guess you'll be heading out soon? Still a lot to do. Meridian's just one step toward making Helios our home. Yeah, but a damn big one. You deserve to celebrate. And I deserve another drink. Cheers, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I'm told there will soon be a new voice representing Helios. Another of your leaders claiming to know what we need. It was an impossible choice, Ephra. There's no name that would represent everyone. Though the one chosen definitely represents someone. Don't they, Pathfinder? The whole point was that I'd get blamed no matter what, so I went with my gut. We'll see what comes of it. 
The glow from defeating the Archon can only last so long. Hire of GXs, Pathfinder. To better tomorrows. It's overwhelming. Sarah, kept a seat for you. In your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? Not as well as he acts, but he's getting there, thankfully. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork, just to look at it. I feel you. Just... ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. Pathfinder, here! So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day, Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. So, white noise? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kirathia! The situation is not under control! Not an avoid until further update. Repeating. Is that... The Corian Ark? And Elcor? Drell? Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. That's fantastic news. We need to report this right away. It's good news, but it bounced too many times to trace and... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. How's things? Kid. Old man. Ha ha ha. This place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> I sent out the Nakmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told them to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit him. Let's get out there, huh? Meridian, huh? I see you every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you
Can you imagine what we could accomplish? Ugh, I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Heard from the Nexus. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations! I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Jill might have something to say about that. Oh, right. Note to self. Bounce names off Jill. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? It's a lot to take in. I'm still in the pinching myself phase. Well, I'm sure everyone here would be happy to line up and give you a pinch. But, so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You wanna blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. Honored to see you, Pathfinder. Glad to have you. A fantastic turn of fortune for the Hyperion. Perhaps one day the Parchero can expect the same. In not quite so dramatic a fashion, hopefully. Oh, good, you're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go, y you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I going to do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Got a job for us? Living so soon? It's no fun having the boss at the party. That depends entirely on the type of leader. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented this role, but you defined it.
Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home.